Hello, I'm Stephanie Haney with a special edition of In the News Now. Actor Alec Baldwin will be charged with involuntary manslaughter in the fatal shooting of a cinematographer who was killed on the movie set for Rust in 2021. Weapons specialist Hannah Gutierrez-Reed will also be charged as she supervised the weapons on the set. 42-year-old Helena Hutchins died shortly after being wounded during rehearsals for the Western Rust. Let's take a look back at reports from when this happened in October 2021, as well as body camera footage from that day. Actor Alec Baldwin fired a prop gun that accidentally killed a woman on a movie set. It happened on the set of the Western drama Rust in Santa Fe, New Mexico yesterday afternoon. The sheriff's office says it appeared a scene was being filmed with the prop firearm when it was accidentally discharged. Authorities say the movie's director of photography was shot and killed. The director was also shot and is currently in the hospital this morning. A newspaper in Santa Fe taking these photos of Alec Baldwin after it happened, reporting that he was outside the sheriff's office in tears. A spokesperson for the production releasing the statement saying the entire cast and crew are devastated. Production has been halted on the movie. Law enforcement says the accident involved the misfire of a gun with blanks. And it's not the first time a prop gun has been involved in a deadly incident on a set. In the 80s, actor John Eric Hexham died while filming the show Cover Up. Authorities say he fired a gun loaded with blanks at himself as a joke. Firearms dealers say blank cartridges can still have enough force to seriously hurt someone from close range. I got two males shot at Bonanza Creek. I don't know if it's a movie set, but one of the guns was real. And uh, we don't know the, the patients right now. There's medics on, there is a medical, somebody on scene, but we don't know the, um, the situation right now, if they're dead, they're dying or anything, so. Okay, as soon as you guys get there, uh, let me know. Okay. And uh, we'll start gathering up the troops. Roger that, sir. I'll let you know we're still in route. I need you to know who's in charge. Everybody stops what they're doing right now. This is a crime scene. Yes. Okay, everybody stops what they're doing and I need the film secured by whoever's in charge of this. We're gonna talk to everybody here in a sec. We're, we're getting these guys treated, we're securing the scene. And then we'll get we'll get with you guys in a sec. It's their safety, their uh, medical priority first. Now, all the rounds, I was told, you need to verify that this is important enough. They take the gun, they empty the gun, and all the rounds that are in there were either dummy rounds, no flash, cold rounds, or rounds with a flash. In the rehearsal, there should have been nothing. It should have been a cold gun with no rounds inside or dummy rounds, cosmetic rounds, no flash. I take the gun out slowly, I turn, I cock the pistol, bang, it goes up, she hits the ground. She goes down. He goes down, screaming. He's like, Jesus Christ, he, and I'm going. And I thought that maybe sometimes the wadding can come out if you're close and you get a burn. Two actors who killed themselves with guns, with theatrical guns, John Eric Hexham and Brandon Lee, mm -hmm. they put the live round there, and I'm told even with the flash powder, you can cause contusions and you can do a blame, brain bleed and die, which, which both of them died. Right. I think with Brandon Lee, there was a, 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 a piece of material lodged in the thing that shot from the, or something. Yeah. I don't remember it vividly, but my point is, I've been doing this, I, I shot enough guns in my day in movies, I've never seen this. Search warrants filed in Santa Fe indicate Baldwin was handed a loaded gun by an assistant director who indicated it was safe, but he did not know it was loaded with live rounds. Authorities say that assistant director David Hulls has signed a plea agreement for the charge of negligent use of a deadly weapon.
Firearms experts and Wild West actors across the country have weighed in on this tragedy, saying this is something that could have been avoided. After this tragic accident, local actors that use prop guns and real guns say more safety protocols should have been taken. Alec Baldwin, co-producer and star of Rust, discharged a prop gun on the movie set in Santa Fe, New Mexico, accidentally killing director of photography, 42-year-old Galena Hutchins, and sending the film's director, 48-year-old Joel Souza, to the hospital. According to Variety magazine, the Los Angeles prop union IOTC 44 says the gun contained a live single round. Hours before the shooting, the Los Angeles Times reports crew members on set were protesting work conditions, including Hutchins, who was advocating for safer conditions for her team. The union crew reportedly walked off set and were replaced with a new crew. I was kind of more angry than anything else, just thinking how stupid that never should have happened. This is the real one. You can feel the weight difference. Local Wild West actors say this could have been prevented. Somebody was not doing their job, obviously. I mean, that, that, that is a terrible uh, safety hazard. I was devastated, man. There's really no reason for that. You know, really no reason for that to happen. Um, the main thing is safety, safety, safety. Check your guns, know your ammunition, and know your actors. They say more safety protocols should have been performed on set, Stick. like sticking this and wooden rod in sure the gun before firing. The yeah, we always check to make sure it's unloaded. Baldwin tweeted in part, There are no words to convey my shock and sadness. My heart is broken for her husband, their son, and all who knew and loved Galena. Spike has spent a career on movie sets directing fight scenes and teaching actors how to properly handle and fire prop guns. If, if, if uh, you don't take them seriously, you know, that's when the mistakes are made. According to a search warrant obtained by the Associated Press, an assistant director handed actor Alec Baldwin a gun with a live round, not a blank. Fike says movie sets employ people like him called armors, whose job it is to make sure guns are safe to fire and assistant directors never hand actors guns. The armor will walk the weapon in, place it in the um, actor's hands. But prior to that, we will show the actor, we show the cast and crew, here's the blank weapon, it's empty. Here's the blank that we're going to be using. Fike says he was devastated when he heard the news about the shooting because he knows how it impacts everyone involved. It's a tragic situation because you're thinking about the people that are injured, okay, and or who've lost their lives. He says with so many unknowns about how the shooting happened, he says it's important to let the investigation play out. Kevin Landers, 10TV News. Cinematographer Helena Hutchins was a wife and mother and a dear friend to many. She was best friends with the creative producer at KXTV in Sacramento. She spoke out about the loss and their friendship. He was one of my, my biggest champions. She was just the kindest, warmest, best friend anyone could ever really ask for. We went to IFI together. Uh, we were in the same cohort. We graduated in 2015. We just kind of had her back through everything. Um, we could talk about lenses and geek out about lenses and camera sensors and um, talk about boys <laughs> and food. And she had the biggest sweet tooth. She saw what she wanted and she just went for it. And she was like fearless that way. And like, I just was like, I was like, I, I wanna be, I used to tell her like, I wanna be like you when I grow up. <laughs> Cause she just, she didn't let all these limitations that sometimes um, come up, like limit her. She would be like, I want the biggest light. And they would be like, well, we don't have the budget. She would figure it out and she would get the biggest light. I have no doubt in my mind that if she were to have continued, she would have conquered the industry, no problem. <laughs> Nearly a year after her death, Hutchins' family reached a settlement in the wrongful death lawsuit filed against Alec Baldwin and the other producers with Rust Productions. Part of the agreement aims to restart filming with widower Matthew Hutchins' involvement as executive producer. Another fallout from the accidental shooting, Rust was fined for gun safety failures by the state of New Mexico. 
In April of 2022, Rust movie producers were fined almost $137,000, the maximum possible fine they could receive. New Mexico's Occupation Health and Safety Bureau said based on their findings, they found a set of obvious hazards to employees regarding the use of firearms and management's failure to act on the hazards. Rust Movie Productions continues to challenge the basis of that find by regulators. We'll continue to follow this story as it develops. Thanks for watching this special edition of In the News Now. I'm Stephanie Haney.